everyone! Welcome back to my channel! So, kung nakikita nyo yung pagbumukhang ito, alam nyo kung ano, ano naman yung pag-usapan. Utang na naman, guys! So, in today's video, isha-share ko lang sa inyo na pwede balak tayong umutang ng up to 50,000 pesos yung gamit ng app na to. So, app na to is yung Shopee app. So, I'm not gonna be talking about SP Later kasi yung SP Later is just dedicated to your Shopee purchases. Ito naman yung tinatawag na S-Loan. So, with S-Loan, you can loan up to 50,000 pesos, guys, and pwede nyo makash out. Alam nyo, naiiritan ako sa, pang <laughs> sa term na cash out. But it is what it is. At makukuha siya as cash. So, if you wanna know more about S-Loan, then watch this video. <laughs> a few reminders. I'm sure mauumay kayo nito. But my videos are not sponsored and based on my personal experience as a user of these apps. I am not an expert but then experience ko yung sinishare ko dito. So if you are into buy now, pay later platforms and utang apps and anything similar, then I suggest you subscribe to this channel because marami kayong matututunan dito. Oh, ewan ko. So guys, in today's video, mag-uusapan natin is yung S-Lo na ino-offer ni Shopee. Huli na naman ako sa balita, ano. And I was checking 4.4 promos and then napadaan ako dun sa, sa Shopee Pay or sa Shopee Pay ko. And then na-notice ko na dun sa baba, merong S-Loan. So, hmm, ano to? Siyempre, by the word loan, parang kumikinang kinanga naman yung mata ko nung makita kong loan. So, meron na naman ako mag-share nito sa inyo. Nung kinlik ko si S-Loan, syempre, may lumabas na mga introduction din. May yung mga product description or product overview na dapat natin binabasa. So, si S-Loan is with that, you can get up to 50,000 pesos. So, yun yung headline. Fits ni S-Loan is that it's easy activation and you can get credit limit of up, up to 50,000 pesos with 20, within 24 hours. So, diba instant? We all love that. Next, competitive interest. So, so low interest. So, ang ganda pakinggan. Accessible loan. One account, once account is activated, get a loan anytime you want. Oy! Sounds promising, right? So, napaklik ako ng activate. But before we continue to talk more about that, please take note na yung S-Loan is provided or yung corporate name nito is C-Money Credit Finance Philippines. Naka-register sa system. So, if you wanna check that, andun yung number, registration number niya, and then yung certificate of authority niya. Which means, this um, product na ino offer through Shopee is registered. Pag nabasa mo niya yung overview, pwede ka na mag-click ng activate now. So, pag activate now, yung next mo gagawin is maglalagay ka ng OTP. So, yung OTP na yun ipapadala sa cellphone mo at once sa tagap mo, ilagay mo lang dyan and kung hindi man siya nag-work, you have 59 seconds to try again. So, pag nalagay mo na yung tamang OTP ko, just click next. So, dito sa next page, makikita mo na may tatlo siyang step. Step 1 is ID verification and additional information and ID identity verification. So, in step number 1, which is ID verification, hihingi siya ng ID mo. So, sa ID, andun yung passport, driver's license, and other government-issued IDs. But I think, guys, ha, because nung napaklik ako nito, na-notice ko na andun na yung info. And maybe because meron na akong SP later. So, kung anong info yung ginamit ko dun sa SP later, yun na yung parang automatic na siyang malalagay din dun sa S-Load. Kaya, andun na yung, pas yung passport ko. So, I'll, all I need to do is just confirm me. Eh. But, if kung may problema, syempre, connect me to customer service. And, we hope na hindi tayo mapupunta dyan. So, just confirm and mapupunta ka sa step 2, which, again, i-display nyo yung information na dati mo nang nilagay pag meron ka na nung nas, nung the same information na nasa Shopee account mo, nasa SP later info mo, so andun siya. Actually, may dalawa siyang bagong information na hiningi. That is yung level of education and then yung monthly income range. Kung meron siyang blank, guys, ha, hindi ka makakapag-proceed. So, pakicheck na lang kung meron pang blank and then pakifill out. Tapos, meron siyang dalawang boxes na ipapacheck sa'yo, which is very important kasi yung boxes na to ay may links to terms and conditions and fee structure. So, pakibas I suggest na basahin ito kasi this will help us understand kung ano yung pinapasukan natin kapag gumamit tayo ng s -Lo. Pag nilagyan mo na ng check yung dalawang boxes na to, then magiging orange or magiging clickable yung confirm. Pag pinindot mo yung confirm, kala mo yun na yun. <laughs> may lalabas pang isang box na um, 
parang tatanungin ka niya kung sure na sure ka na ba sa mga info na nilagay mo. Um, kung sure ka, just confirm it. If meron kang dapat i-update, just click mod. If kung dati ka nang, may, kung meron ka nang SP later, most likely yung information na andito is correct. So, just click confirm if you are sure. So, application will be reviewed. One working day lang. I believe, I believe, na kung meron ka nang SP later or meron kang verified, this is really very important guys kasi pag hindi verified yung Shopee account mo, then there's a big chance that you will not be able to access these loan features or kahit na mapa SP man or wallet or yung um, S loan. So, yun. Because that, ando na yung info mo, verified naman yung Shopee mo, then if application will be reviewed and then wala ka namang ibang, ibang gagawin, kundi click ka na lang ng okay. I was actually expecting to get the results but to get uh, confirmation na na-approve yung aking S loan the next day, but na bigla ako, it just took minutes and then approved naman siya kagad. Now, do you really get 50,000 pesos right away? No. Kasi it's always subject to their credit checking algorithms. So, nung na-approve yung aking S loan, yung binigay sa aking initial amount is 10,000 pesos. That's a big amount of money, guys. So, kung maglo-loan ng ganito, pag-isipan talaga. It's not for us to judge kung anong purpose ng loan, di ba? Iba-iba yung reason natin kung bakit naglo-loan tayo. And, let's just respect that. So, kung gusto mo siyang i-withdraw, just click withdraw loan. And the next, um, the next window, you can choose between 2 months and 3 months. Siyempre, if um, shorter period yung pipiliin mo, mas ma lalaki yung stall installment amount. Pero, um, in effect, parang maliit din yung interest. Kung 3 months, parang liliit ng konti yung installment amount. But syempre, a little bit higher din yung you end up paying um, interest na medyo yung patong mas mataas. Guys, yung maganda dito is because ang um, admin fee niya is only 1%. So, 1% of 10,000 is 100 pesos. Meaning, yung admin fee na 100, yun lang ibabawas niya. So, it's entirely up to you kung gusto mo 2 months or 3 months decision mo yan. And, but if you've made up your mind, just click withdraw now. So, sasabihin niya sa inyo na um, disbursement is in progress and you will be dis it will be dispersed to your Shopee Pay within the next hour. So, hindi siya super automatic like 5 minutes and doon na It takes 1 hour according to this one. And mapupunta siya sa Shopee Pay. So, hindi siya kaagad mapupunta sa GCash or sa bank account. But actually, the good news is that hindi naman siya umabot talaga ng one hour. After siguro mga 30 minutes, andun na siya sa Shopee Pay ko. And kapag andun na siya sa Shopee Pay, you have the option to like use it for um, buying stuff dun sa Shopee. Or pwede mo rin siyang pang bills payment kasi meron din bills payment facility si Shopee. But the best part about this is that pwede siyang i-cash out guys. Which means makukuha mo siya as pera, as cash. Hindi siya pang shopping lang. So, kung gusto mo siyang i-cash out, out, um, what you need to do is i-click mo yung withdraw. Punta ka dun sa Shopee Pay mo and makikita mo yung amount pag napasok na yung pera. So, click mo yung withdraw. Hihingan ka niya ng bank info. Siyempre, dun nila ipapadala. Never na never to maghihingi ng password ng banko mo. And up to you kung gusto mong i-save yung info mo dun sa Shopee mo. Total, for as long as account mo yun, ba? And then, um, just click next pag nalagay mo na yung bank info mo. Sorry, from your Shopee Pay, to your bank, yun yung automatic. So, kaagad kasi insta net, insta, insta pay yung gamit sa pag-transfer ng pera. Siyempre, gusto ko rin i-share what I think about S-Loan. So, madali siyang applyan in a sense na kung meron kang verified Shopee account and meron kang SPay later, then um, hindi mo na kailangan mag-fill out ng form because yung information mo na andun sa s sa Shopee mo, is kaagad niya namang ilalagay. All you have to do is confirm kung tama ba or kung meron kang i-correct or i-modify or i-update, then i-update mo lang. So, that is how I understand yung sinabi niyang madali lang yung pag-apply. Mabilis yung approval, especially kung mer meron kang SP later at maganda yung record mo sa SP later. Because yung nga, na-credit check ka na nung nag- nag-assess na sila kung pwede ka bang i-approve nung inactivate mo yung SP later. So, probably, yung S-Loan nila follows the same system. So, it just makes sense. Now, uh, I have read dun sa Q&A na S-Loan is available, at the moment, available to select users. Hindi kasi ako nakatanggap ng any notification from Shopee na pwede na akong gumamit ng S-Loan. So, if you have been keeping a good record and matagal-tagal ka nang gumagamit ng Shopee, especially if meron kang um, SP later, then you might want to check your Shopee account and see kung available na si S-Loan sa inyo. So, just click your Shopee. And, um, yun, uh, medyo strict siya. Kasi nabasa ko rin dun sa Q&A na hindi po siya nagbibigay ng payment extension. So, kapag na-overdue ka, parang kaagad nila fini-freeze yung account. So, dapat, um, 
on time ka talaga magbayad dito to continue enjoying the benefits of S loan. So, yan, um, I think if S loan is available for you and you need the extra funds, I think it's a good um, option kasi number one, um, reasonable masyado yung interest niya. And then, very, um, madali lang naman siyang apply at especially if meron kang S-Pay later or S-Loan. I mean, S-Pay later. And, um, yun, pwede mo siyang e-cash out which means na pwede mo siyang makuha sa pera and up to you kung aanhin mo yan. That's it for today's video guys. I hope meron naman kayong utang na natutunan from your Auntie Red. And, well, I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye!